I'm Father Dick Hauser. I teach theology here at Creighton University, and I'm director of our master's program in Christian spirituality. Why I decided to become a Jesuit. It's actually an interesting story. In January of our senior year, we had a retreat at Marquette High, and the retreat master asked each of us seniors, didn't we really want to become Jesuits? And I said, absolutely no, I do not want to become a Jesuit. I do not now, nor have I ever. Well, the reason I said that is my dad had given me a car for my senior year. I had a girlfriend that I dated all through junior year and was dating uh, my senior year. And I'd been accepted to Marquette University. I was going to get a law degree and a business degree. So I said no. But by March of my senior year, I was applying to the Jesuits. What happened? Dad had given me a car, so I began dropping into our parish church after school. And I'd sit in front of the Sacred Heart picture and ask Jesus what I should do with my life. And whatever I thought about becoming a Jesuit, I had this overwhelming sense of joy and peace. And I could not understand it because I was still pretty much in relationship with this girl. I enjoyed having my car, and I had all my dreams of being a pretty upper middle class successful businessman lawyer. What happened was that God pointed me to the Society of Jesus by giving me the experience of deep peace. When I was quiet in God's presence, then I had this type of joy that I don't think I had ever experienced before in my life. The only times I ever visited church before were on Sundays to fulfill required religious obligation. But during this time, I went during the week, and I think God gave me the sign that he was calling me. And that sign is a deep peace and joy that this was more right for me than anything else I could do. So I knew I had to try it. So the way I look at finding our vocation now is you listen to your heart and not your head. Your head is gonna tell you everything that society has conditioned you to think, but God touches your heart. And when you listen to your heart, you hear God's voice. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. And when you follow your heart, you follow God, and you find your path to your deepest peace and happiness. I have never regretted that decision I made in as a senior at Marquette High in Milwaukee.